Hi, this is Abhijit here and in this series today I'm going to show you how do you configure the iteration path table visual. In this, the iteration path, the start date and the end date is only achievable from a, analytics view. It doesn't come under the queries. So I'll show you how do you configure an analytics view and then bring it here. Simple and easy, I would be in my DevOps. So I'm on my DevOps now and I've created a, an analytics views I created a view named feature progress. Simply click new and you can create one. I'm going to edit this and show you. So what I've done here is this feature progress. I named it feature progress. Irrespective of the name, you can name anything of your choice. You'll need an ID for this. Keep the view private. If you put it shared, perhaps the automatic, the pre-configured Power BI will not work. Go to work items, choose the project, and the project is under the project area. And that is what you need here. Under the fields, add all the fields that I've given you here. Perhaps most of them would automatically get added. The only big thing that you need here is do not forget to add. When you click add and add, a, add the field here is iteration start date and iteration end date. This is very important. You must add the iteration start date and the iteration end date here and keep all the columns. Do not remove any of the columns. Go to history, click on current only. This is good enough. Under the verification, you can click the verify view to see whether your view actually works or not. Once you're done, if you edit the view, If you click on the view now, just click on the view, you will see the details coming up and you will find the view ID. Just copy the view ID, go back to your Power BI dashboard and under transform data, you would have iteration details. Under iteration details, click on advanced editor and you need to change the view ID here. That's all, no changes required. Only the view ID change and it should, it may ask you for authentication, just go ahead with authentication as required and it will work. Do not worry about this. And this, these are names which will remain as is not required to be changed. Only change this, that's all. I think this will help you to configure the entire first page.